Hi everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. Today we're happy to announce the launch of two new GPUs from NVIDIA, the GeForce GTX 750 and GTX 750 Ti. I'll be doing a quick overview of the GPU features and specs, and then sharing some benchmarks to give you all a sample of their performance. So for starters, the 750 and 750 Ti are based on NVIDIA's newest Maxwell architecture, a first generation version built on a 28 nanometer manufacturing process. NVIDIA has been emphasizing power savings and efficiency with Maxwell. In the four years since the Fermi-based 550 Ti was launched, NVIDIA has quadrupled their performance per watt. They've achieved this with Maxwell by restructuring their SM, or Streaming Multiprocessor Units, the building blocks of the GPU, which adds 35% more performance per core and doubles the performance per watt compared to Kepler. The 750 and 750Ti are capable of operating within the 75 watt power envelope provided through the PCI Express bus, although some manufacturers may opt for an additional PCI Express graphics power connection for overclocking headroom. The 750 and 750Ti also support NVIDIA's newest technologies, including G-Sync, which synchronizes a variable refresh rate between the card and a G-Sync compatible monitor for smooth gameplay and maximum frame rates. Just bear in mind that a DisplayPort video out is required for G-Sync, so choose your card carefully if you're planning to get a matching G-Sync monitor. You can also access Shadow Play, which is always on game recording with low system overhead. Shadow Play is enabled through NVIDIA's GeForce Experience software, and NVIDIA is aiming this feature at folks who want to live stream games with Twitch and YouTube. NVIDIA Shield compatibility allows you to stream your desktop PC games to your Shield handheld device, so you can play anywhere in your home or stream from your PC to your home theater with Shield in console mode. Of course, there's also continued support for existing NVIDIA technologies such as GPU Boost 2.0, TXAA, FXAA, Physics, Adva Adaptive VSync, NVIDIA CUDA technology, and NVIDIA Surround and 3D Vision. Next up, we'll take a look at some benchmarks. For comparison, we have a stock clocked NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost, which these cards here are going to be replacing in Team Green's lineup. We'll also be showing numbers for a stock GTX 750, a stock 750 Ti, and today we're featuring the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti FTW, or for the win, a new egg exclusive card that comes overclocked out of the box, but I juiced it even further and managed to run it at a boost clock frequency of 1435 MHz with the memory at 1450. Our test bed is based on an Intel Core i7-4960X, clocked to 4.5 GHz, kept chilly by a Cooler Master Sidon 120XL closed-loop CPU cooler. The motherboard is an Asus Rampage 4 formula with 16 GB of G-Skill Trident X DDR3 memory running at 2400 MHz. A SanDisk Ultra Plus 256 GB SSD contains our Windows 7 64-bit operating system and an array of games and benchmarks, and the whole affair is housed in an in-win D-frame chassis and powered by Rosewill Hercules 1600 watt power supply. Here are your benchmarks. So those are the benchmarks, and these cards are some pretty impressive performers at their price point for 1080 HD gameplay. 
I would not recommend them for higher resolutions, and neither would NVIDIA for that matter. As you might have seen, they had a bit of a harder time with the Unigen benchmarks at 2560 by 1600, but bear in mind that my presets are a little bit more geared towards high-end graphics cards. The GTX 750 and 750Ti are excellent options if you're looking for a price-conscious card for your Mini ITX rig, or if you've got an aging system with like a limited 300 watt power supply and no PCI Express power connectors, or for just about anyone who's looking for a huge jump up from integrated graphics. I was also quite impressed with the overclocking headroom on these cards, so I would encourage you guys to try out overclocking software like EVGA's Precision X if you want to squeeze some extra frames out of your new GPU. That's all for this video though, we hope you have enjoyed it. Remember to hit the like button before you leave, and we'll post links in this video's description so you can check out pricing and availability. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.